How you doing, sir? Wonderful. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> You're right. I'm doing great. Today, what we want to talk about is the program, or I should say programming, that the world without. You know, we're told to be in the world, but not of the world. Let's talk about the programming of the world. Yeah, well, actually, you're being programmed every moment. I mean, you, you get up, you, you, you have your coffee, and, and you to go to work, and as you're going down the highway, there's signs here, signs there, everywhere. Everywhere you're being, your your attention is being attacked. You see, you're constantly under attack but by your environment. But you see, you have a secret, and that is is that you get to choose this day, and and if you don't choose them, then they go away. But if you don't choose properly. Uh, and it goes on and on and on. And you watch TV, and there they are again. Listen to the radio, there they are again. And, and you have to look out for yourself. Because they're not looking out for you, except to use you. Yeah, absolutely. And and you're being used up, yeah. really. Yeah. I mean, you can't imagine how much garbage you have in here. Yeah. I mean, if you really want to clean house sometime, uh, make sure you're ready for it because it, it's one one hell of a mess. Yeah. When you really start, li in fact, in fact, you're sitting there going, you know, like, wow, I, I can't believe that. You, you you have so much in here that belongs out there, but you have to take it out. You see, as you think you are, until you change your mind, you change your world. So nothing's going to change in your world. And if you came here looking for a change, it's you who changes. It's, it's, it's you who changes what you're thinking, feelingly about. Well, actually, morning, noon, and night, you even take it into the dream world with you. I mean, that's that. I went off the air here. Well, there I am. I just went at the whole screen. Went off. <laughs> They're trying to block me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want the message to get out. <laughs> Well, no, actually, most of them wouldn't. Yeah. Be because their their whole well, actually, their whole livelihood depends on you. I I even if they don't know you, they know they're getting to you. They're communicating their message to you, even though you don't know who they are. Yeah. So, what is your message? to you first first person i mean do you talk to yourself and, and recognize what you're saying because i can tell you i did an awful lot of thinking but five minutes later i didn't know what i was thinking i mean it just went it's just something that just passes through passes through yeah. but 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 think of this though you see if you're thinking it you will be experiencing it. And, and if you don't want to experience it, then you had better stop the thinking of it. Look, we be, we, we're all making up our own monsters. God, God's not making up monsters for you. He, he gave you choose this day, and he gave you whatsoever to choose from. So you're actually in charge. Take charge. I mean, you're the one who's deciding what you're going to do, aren't you? Or, or is your environment leading you around? Because, because look, that, that coming of age, you know, that that's celebrated, I think, throughout the whole world, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, uh, and what is the coming of age? It, it means you start thinking for yourself. 
And when you start re-examining all the things you've been conditioned to, hypnotized, mesmetized, and, and, and people say, well, I'm not hypnotized. I'm not mesmetized. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go open the closets. <laughs> You know, no, we're all we're, we're we're all a victim of it, and we have been since early, however early age you started being conditioned to the ongoing drama. That that's how soon it starts. See, and and, and you have no control over it at all because you're completely stupid. You know, you're running around bumping your head against everything. You're struggling just to just stand up straight, and and. Uh, and and it, all the time you're hearing by the hearing of the ear, and you know who's talking, you know, and 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 well, they're adults, you know, so they should probably know what they're talking about. I mean, I guess you assume that, don't you? We do. <laughs> we do. But you see, you find out later on they didn't know what they were talking about, and they were having such arguments for. Well, it wasn't true. I, I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm still I have those. <laughs> but they're only with myself. <laughs> See, no, I don't. No, I, I, I don't argue none of this with anybody. <laughs> Tell them, hey, it's your own message. I, I didn't make it up. I, here it is. And I'm giving it to you. And once I give it to you, my responsibility for your doing ends right there. Because you were the one given to choose this day, and you are about doing so, which is uh, praying ceaselessly, isn't it? Absolutely. So what are you praying for? I mean, you're thinking all the time, so you're praying all the time. Well, what are you praying for? I can tell you very simply. What are you experiencing? You're always thinking ahead of your evidence and what are you experiencing? And what you're experiencing right now, if you look, trace it back, you will find a conversation that somehow interviewed you to be in that. And if you let it go at that, you'll experience that. See, the only thing going on in the whole vast world is I am that what? That's every individual, everyone, isn't it? Isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, I mean, think about it. As you think you are, as within, so without. That doesn't that sound like it's a psychological drama? You know, you're given to choose what you think. And as you think, you are, you do, you have, you be. And, and oh, religious or not, you you are thinking, feeling, being, are you not? And that's what you're experiencing is what you're thinking feelingly about. And and you can I'll tell you what, you just go just just go to, to disprove that. I, I challenge you to disprove it. You cannot. It cannot be disproved because God made it so. He made a lot of things so, and he even told you right plain, straight out in, in Scripture. Very, very, I mean, little, little short sentences sometimes. But wow, what an impact they have on your life if you get it. And that's what you're doing. I mean, you, you, you've got two choices. You can, you can, physically spend your life or, 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 you, or you can psychologically invest in it. Look, you're investing in your own self. You're investing in your own everydayness because it's as you think you are and you say, well, I don't know what I thought yesterday. Well, see what you're experiencing today and then it'll make, maybe, maybe it'll jar your memory as to what, what you were thinking. See, I, look, it's as you think you are, period. That's it. And, and what does they say? You know, what you are speaks so loud. I can't hear what you're saying. Yeah. But do you know what you're saying? 
See, see that that's what's important. What are you saying to yourself? What are you suggesting to yourself? I, I mean, think about this for a minute. What are you suggesting to yourself? Because, you know, when you're listening to you, you're impressing yourself. And as you're impressed, you express. That's saying, as you think you are, a different way, I guess. <laughs> Try to bring it in from every angle, from, you know, every department of our lives. But, but, what, but, but what is the common thought of the day for you? See, I mean, I mean, you you know what you think about generally most of the day. I mean, I, if you're thinking about it enough to be aware of it, you see, it's actually, it's it's being aware, consciously aware of what you're thinking and feeling. If you can do that on on a, on a say more than fifty percent, hey, your your life will just straighten out right away. And and once you see what you were doing that straightened it out, you'll be you'll be at it more and more and more. You'll be looking. You'll be making excuses like I did for a long time just to be alone. <laughs> but you got to be careful about that. You see, uh, we we both know someone who who uses that, and but he doesn't realize he has to suffer it all the time to use it. <laughs> I can't tell them different. <laughs> no, no, I've tried. I've tried. Yeah, he says you're funny, <laughs> <laughs> but you know I hear it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a matter of fact. It's a matter of fact. I, I remember uh, one night at, at this club. Someone told me uh, she put together a, a, a funny act. act. Mm -hmm. And I go, <laughs> so, some some lady commented, uh, I, he's funny enough without it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, then, and then another one told me, well, it's hard to take you serious. I don't want you to take me serious. I want you to take what I say serious. <laughs> because that's all I did. I took what I was hearing by the hearing of the ear. And I thought, now, wow, that would really be great if it really worked that way. Well, it does. It, it actually does. <laughs> and you know something? It really... It really wasn't what I expected. I thought it would be so hard, but it isn't. It really isn't. You're, you're actually using the same principle all day long. All, all day long. You're, you're using it for contemplation. You're using it for meditation. And you say, well, meditation, I don't do any meditation. Yeah, you see, that just, all you just told me is that you're poor at it. That's all. But you're doing it. I mean, I, 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 if you look, if you watch yourself for a while, listen to yourself for a while. Yeah, you're meditating on things, or, or, or grinding it up, or whirling it around, or whatever you call it. But you are doing so. But the difference is, are you aware that you're that you're the motive behind it? See, you, you're to choose what your thinking is to accomplish. Are you doing that? Well, are you thinking knowingly you're going to accomplish something? See, if you do, that, and actually, that's where all the negatives come in really simply. Because all you have to do is, oh, I don't want that. And then, boy, that's it. Now, what are you doing? You're acting it out. See? And that's what you do with the theater of mind. You act it out. You're seeing yourself do something in imagination, and and I know you don't you don't have any imagination here, but I know, I know. But uh, you got here tonight. See, if you hadn't got here tonight, you know, you got here tonight, and so you used your imagination, and imagination is with you. Imagination is your guide. What what are you what are you, what are you thinking about 
that it sets your course up. See, God tells you, look, I suffer with you, but you behold me not. The thing, what he gave you was, in choose this day, he let you choose the route that the two of you are going to take. Well, actually, three of you, because Jesus said, I and my father are one, even as you and I are one. See, so I'm right here with you. I, I don't know. I don't know what all of this, you know, going places. To, to pray. I sit right there in the chair and pray all the time. I, I, I mean, knowingly so. See, I, I'm doing it anyway, but, uh, you know. That, that's what that double mindedness stuff is. You 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 know, don't don't think you know, you can't think it for five minutes here and you know five minutes later you're going, What? You know, you don't even know what's happening. And and I don't know what's happening most of the time, but but at least it it, it it's not enough to 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 infer on on what I'm experiencing. My experience, yeah, I'm experiencing pretty good. Actually, <laughs> you you know, I'll tell you, when you get in the habit of questioning yourself, that's when it starts. Why am I doing this? You know, I'm sitting there and, and I'm thinking about nothing particularly, and then suddenly I thought thoughts run through, and, and you kind of pick up on it a little bit, and, and you and I, I'm going, do I want to do this? I, I, do I want to go there? I mean, for what? What was what was this all about? See, if you don't catch it, you see, it goes into operation. So you're actually operating your world moment by moment, doing what? See, th that's the question. What are you doing? What are you thinking about? How are you feeling? You see. The way you mentally think you're feeling is sending a message to your whole body. Every cell in your body is listening to you. So when you're saying you don't feel good in this and all that and all that, and blah, 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 blah. hey, your body's taking all that in. You see, and and it doesn't know good or otherwise. It takes your orders. See, in other words, you're the you're the commander, and they they just follow you. But they can get out of control too. <laughs> Sometimes, when they have an uprising, they say, "Well, how's that? How's that feel now?" <laughs> you're going, "Whoa, okay." Well, you hmm. know, you were talking about the uprising. So we're talking about, of course, uh, individual programming and the world programming us. But I have a question. You said, you know, sometimes it gets out of control. And is that because we've given control over? It, 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 well, the, the thought is, can you choose your next thought? I, that's all. Yes or no. Can you choose your next thought? And then the suggestion is, if you chose it, see that that's probably on the good side. So uh, the suggestion is keep choosing. See, you're either choosing your thought or, or this or you or your world around you is feeding you. What are they feeding you? See, if you're in charge, you're choosing what you eat. If you're in charge, you're choosing what you think. But if your environment is in charge, who's doing what? You're following along, you know. Even God says, "I no longer call you slave; I call you friend." Friend. God calls you friend. He's no respecter of persons. And, and you're saying, "Well, but but I I ne I haven't been really worthy." <laughs> Get over it. Who does? <laughs> Scripture even points it out, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Not worthy. Not one is worthy. Well, see, that's got to include you and me both. Yeah. <laughs> There's no bending it anyway. It says what it says. You don't bend it anyway. It's exactly what it says. And it says it very clearly. And the thing of it is, if you're not ready to hear it, you don't. Correct. Even though the ears are, you still don't hear it. Or, or you hear it. As, as something you know about. 
See, I got by with that for a long time. <laughs> Someone bring up the stuff. Oh, yeah, I know about that. Yeah, I, yeah. No, I didn't even know. About, I didn't really didn't even know about it. I say I know that. I didn't know that. I, I didn't even know about it really. As a matter of fact, what I thought about it was altogether different. But then again, you'll find that about an awful lot of things. I mean, things that you were taught maybe by your parents or guardians or something that they were just absolutely positively sure that it was right, but it wasn't. So you see, they can be wrong and feel they're right. But that's what's called lying to yourself. We seem to really do an awful lot of that. Because, you know, when you really think about it, yeah, you do a lot of that. But but, but you see, the thing of it is, is that subconscious mind doesn't differentiate by what you say, only what you say. It makes your world appeal as it is in here, out there. So that's secondhand land. And if you're going to secondhand land for help, no, it's right with you. You got it right here. Where do you need to go? I'm with you always. I will never leave you. Omnipresence. Doesn't that mean right here, right now? See, that's like the word thinketh. Someone says, well, what's all this thinketh stuff? Well, yeah, well, it's, it's right here, right now, as you think, you are, you do, you have, you be. Now, if you want to change it, all you have to do is change your mind, change your conversations with you. If a man would order his conversations right, he would be shown salvation. You wanted answers? There it is. It's right with you. I, day or night, anytime you choose, I'm I, here I am. Where are you? <laughs> it sure gets, it sure gets. Yeah, it does get funny at times, too. You know, when you really find out, oh, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's awesome. <laughs> but the thing of it is, is that you're awesome, too. But if it, that's not what you're, if that's not what you're actually feeling about yourself, see, then, then you're denying yourself because God made you perfect. And, and how you got screwed up, well, you know, that's a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of what I'm doing and a little bit of what I see other people doing. And then in, and when you choose your friends, you know, you kind of, you kind of, you kind of tend to, to, to think like they do somewhat to, just to keep the friendship together sometimes. I mean, really, I'm, I'm, I'm being serious now. But you see, you you pick up things from people actually unaware that you're doing so. Because that, you see, that that's our great failing, is that we're not paying attention to what we're paying attention to enough to see what we're thinking. <laughs> that sounded right to me. It, it, do you? it sounded great. Yep. Yep. Oh, well. I don't know. It's just, it's just what you choose to believe you're delivered into. Is that correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. You said something earlier. You said that this was your message, but it, it can only be your message if you have ears to hear. If you don't have ears to hear, you won't hear it. And it's so true. So many people message me through YouTube and the other vehicles, and they say, this stuff isn't true. For them, it isn't true because they don't have ears to receive the truth. I'm told to think only on things, well, that are lovely and of good report. And if that's what you're thinking upon, that's what you experience. If you're thinking of all the negative ideas that are being floated around. And boy, I'll tell you, there's a lot of it floating around, especially today. I, I, I say that, especially today, especially, and everybody has said that all down through the ages. That just means that 
just a different version of the same thing going on again. I mean, those those famous dictators, they're not dead. They're still around. And they'll take charge any way they can. And the thing of it is, is that we let them. See, that's it. If we all got together, what, what would be their defenses? See, nothing. If we all joined hands together, you know, that'd be quite a line of, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, really. Only when we get our think, thinking straightened out. And when I say getting your thinking straightened out, I'm not speaking about your politics, really. But then again, actually, I am because it's here. You, you're experiencing it. And if you're experiencing it, you're thinking about it. And if you're thinking about it, then you are involved, even if you're not, even if you don't vote, yeah. you'll still have your say and you'll say something to somebody and change their vote. So. <laughs> Is any of this not true? It's absolutely true. I, I mean, I mean, you know, I, I get I, people are looking at me like, <laughs> you know, actually, I, 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 I kind of like the audiences because you can see the expression on their faces and, and the things that they're doing at the time, and you can see them thinking. While you're talking to them, see that they're already thinking of what they're going to say to you back, and then they lose the essence of the message. You see, there's a message, and then there's an essence of the message. What we're really trying to get across, but you see that that only comes through your own recognition. So therefore, you have to test what we're talking about. See that that our responsibility in giving it to you, sharing it with you, as it was shared with us by the hearing of the ear. But we're sharing it to you correctly because we have the results. You see, th that's the difference that makes the difference, your results. And, and, and your results are right there with you, but you have to recognize, well, God's with you. Jesus is with you. I am with you always. I and my father are one, even as you and I are one. Come on. I'm right here. I'm doing this with you. Really? I'm doing this with you, he's telling you. And he says, if you turn to me, I'll turn to you. That's a yes, isn't it? And have you ever heard have you ever heard him say no? Never. <laughs> How could because you who could you ask better than the person that never says no? <laughs> and, but the thing of it is, you told very plainly that you receive not because you ask not. And I'm and then I'm constantly hit with this, but well, I that's not right. I'm praying, I'm praying, praying, and praying. And I, I prayed hard, not prayed long. But you see, that right there is your own answer. God, God, God knows what you need before you even ask. So if you're whining and crying to him, that means you, you're actually saying by doing that, you don't believe him. Oh, no, no, no. I really feel that. Man. That's right. That's what you really feel. Right. That's right. And that's what you are. That's what you do. That's what you have. That's what you be. Look, you're told, do it. Do a thing, and you shall have the power. Right? The power. Yes. Yeah. God's power. You're operating God's power. And he gave you permission. And he even let you drag him along with you. And if he, if he really knew who he was, he'd know you were trying to drag him along. But you see, that's what he gave up, memory. He actually gave up his memory, being God, and put subconscious in control to build your world as you think you are. So he has 
That's the only way he could be out of it and yet be of it. See, he had to have a way to be, to the Lord belongs escape. So he's escaping your nonsense, but he's still following you. I mean, you're still doing it. You're still being it. You're still lying to yourself. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would like to say that I don't, but see, the thing of it is, you got to get used to catching yourself because you're either setting yourself up or setting yourself free every time your mouth works. Even if you're not, even if it's not your mouth, you're thinking about it, it's the same thing. It all goes out into the world and you'll be faced with what you create. What you choose to believe, you're delivered into. Just try and deny it. Not that's okay. I'm hey. Once I give it, you can deny it all you want. But but to go. But if you don't deny it, you get to use it. Otherwise, it uses you. As you think you are. And I, I, I hear people all the time, the world's going to hell in a basket. <laughs> Just let go of the basket. <laughs> you said something earlier, and I want to go back to it because I know that there's going to be questions about it. You stated that God has given up his memory and the memories that he's given up is remembering that he's you. So God operating in each one of us, but most of us don't understand or know our identity. And it goes back to what Mr. Lindell said earlier, God has given up his memory and he's acting and living as you. Good show. <laughs> 